Okay, class. So today we will be discussing the relational operators together with if condition. So the relational operators. So these are the Boolean type operators. So meaning the result is either true or false. Unlike in arithmetic operators, the result is a numeric value. Uh, for example, n1 plus n2 is equals to a numerical value. But in uh, relational operators, the result is either true or false. So let us say, for example, we have variable a which is equals to 10 and variable b which is equals to 20. So these are the following operators. So we have equal to the symbol is in equal equals so it means equal to it checks if the two values or two operands are equal or not so if yes then the conditions is true otherwise and the condition is false and for example if a is equals to b in this example 10 is equals to 20 so this is false or A is equals to B is not true or false. Not equal checks if the two values or operands are equal or not. If values are not equal, then conditions becomes true. 10 is not equals to 20. So that is true. 10 is not equals to 20. So it is true. Greater than. Uh, checks if the left operand is greater than the value of right operand. If yes, then condition becomes true. So in this example, 10 greater than 20. So 10 greater than 20 is false or not true. Next is less than checks if the value of left operand is less than the value of the right operand. If yes, the condition becomes true. A is 10 less than B. 10 is less than B, which is 20. That is true. 10 less than 20 is equal to. Next is greater than or equal to. So it can be either greater or equal. So either greater or equals any of that operator. So greater than or equals, check if the value of left operand is greater than or equal to the value of of right operand if yes then the condition becomes true for example 10 greater than or equals to 20 so that is false or not true less than or equal to checks if the value of operand is less than or equal to the value of right operand so that is true so, for example, 10 less than or equals to 20. So, that is true. 10 is less than 20. Okay. Then, it is in Java programming, we are using if condition to determine if a statement is true. So, for example, we declare int a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 3. So, we will be using if a is greater than b then to display the statement system that out print line a is greater than b so uh, like in this example a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 3 so if 5 is greater than 3 then it will display 5 is greater than 3 so 5 is the value of a and b is the value and 3 is the value of b So let us take a look with the example. So in this example, we are using if condition and relational operators. Okay, so and so we have here the import. libraries then the class name is if if grade 
then the main program so here since we need to input the prelim midterm and final grade so i use the variable prelim to store prelim grade midterm to store midterm grade and finals to store final grade so make sure that you are using finals or final one because the word final is a keyword that is reserved in java programming so it will cause an error so that's why you make it finals then average will be the average of the prelim midterm and final grades so you doesn't have to input average instead you need to compute the average okay so since we are to perform uh, mathematical operations and in uh, average operations so there is a decimal value so to make the result more accurate so we will use float type of data so mm -hmm. we also need to declare scanner because we will use scanner to get the input for the prelim midterm and final grade so we only need to input prelim midterm and final grade so we use system that out to enter prelim grade and then next is store it to variable prelim using the statement in that next float since it is a plot type of data next is enter the midterm grade store it on variable midterm in that next float and enter the final grade store it to variable finals make sure to be careful with your spelling okay so now that we are done in uh, our inputs to enter the grade per prelim, midterm, and finals. Then we are ready to compute the average. So to compute the average, so of course we will be using our variable average, which is equals to prelim plus midterm plus finals. So we have to enclose the addition operation to follow the MDAS rule so to uh, execute addition operation first so we need to use parentheses to determine or to specify that the addition operation should be the priority before the division so you should add prelim plus meter plus finals and the result will be divided into three so after that uh, we would like to see again all the grades and that's why we use system that out print line to display so we use print line so that we will be displaying prelim grade then midterm then finals and then the average so the computed average is displayed here so system that out print line the average or you can also put it together so that you can uh, easily see the computation of average and so compute average and then display the computed average and so so for us to see the result of computed average so display so again average is the variable small letter a while small big letter a average this is the text that will be displayed on your screen now that we have computed the average we wanted to know if the average grade is passed or failed so we will use if condition then to determine if pass so 75 and above is a pa the passing grade so we will be using greater than or equal to 75 so if average is greater than or e equal to 75 so meaning that is 75 and above so system that out display congratulations you passed so meaning if the average is 75 and above so it will display congrats congratulations you passed so what happens if the grade is less than 7?
So, if average is less than 75, it will not display anything. So, what we do is we create another if condition if average is less than 75. So, meaning 74 and below or below 75. So, it will display, sorry, you failed. Okay. So, if we will run this program. So we have to run this file. So enter prelim with grade, for example, prelim grade is 98. Midterm grade is 97.5. Should be 0.5 or 0.6. 83.9. Final grade. So, the average is 93.16. So, the message is congratulations, you passed. How about if the grade is less than 75? So, we, let us run again. So, let us try another input. New sets of input for the prelim grade. So, we will be using a lower grade, 73.5. 65.3 and 70 okay so the average is 69 so as you can see the really midterm and finals are displayed again and then the average is 69.6 so it means that it is less than 75 therefore it displays sorry you failed